The aim of this experiment is to investigate whether the level of hydration for a boxer affects the number of punches he is able to throw through six rounds of boxing over two bouts. In the experiment, we have six boxers identified as subjects A, B, C, D, E and F. The level of hydration is either the normal state, euhydration, E, or a level of dehydration, D. For each boxer, the activity is divided into two bouts, one and two, and each bout has three rounds. So we have three rounds in bout one, and rounds four, five, and six in bout two. The recorded variable is the number of punches the boxer throws within this simulated boxing contest. We wish to investigate whether the number of punches is affected by the level of hydration and the bout number. We wish to use a multifactorial ANOVAR and the conditions for this is that the data should be normally distributed with equal variance at all levels. We will test these conditions in a separate video. Although the number of punches is a frequency variable, the values are quite high, so we can treat the number of punches as a near continuous variable. So we now perform the analysis using the general linear model, univariate data, which is the number of punches. So punches is the dependent variable, and our fixed factors are the subject, the level of hydration, and the bout number. We now define the model for our analysis. So we choose custom, and that we will select the three factors as main effects, but we are all also interested in a possible interaction between the level of hydration and the bout number. So as an interaction, we will add that to our model. This is bout times hydration and continue. We can then run this analysis and the results show us that the subject factor is very significant with a p-value of less than 0 0.0005. This says that there is a significant difference between the abilities, or the punch rate, of the different subjects, the different boxes. Well, this was to be expected. There is also a difference in the performance rate due to the level of hydration, p less than 0 0.0005 again. However, an interesting factor is this interaction between the hydration and the bout number, which is again very significant, with a p-value less than 0 0.0005. On the face of it, with a p-value of 0 0.151, the bout is not significant. However, we would still consider the bout to be a significant factor because of its involvement in the interaction between hydration and bout. Given the interaction between the level of hydration and bout, it's useful to redo the calculation, and this time we will select a plot, and we can put bout on the horizontal axis of a plot, and draw separate lines for the levels of hydration, which we will add, continue and redo the calculation. We get the same ANOVAR data again, of course, but then we can look at the plot. We can see that the change in the number of punches is quite different between the bouts for the two levels of hydration. The number of punches drops for boxers who are dehydrated, but increases for the number in the normal hydration state E.